uh, have a belief that I just have to struggle because I'm looking at my life and I noticing how much struggling there is. Like okay. right now I'm really struggling with work because it's been getting like worse and worse and worse. And now I'm looking for other jobs and the situation at my workplace is just really toxic. Mm -hmm. But I'm just also reflecting on how I think I believe that I need to struggle and feel some sort of deprivation in order to survive and go through life. What if there was no struggle in your life? Um, I've never had that. There's okay. always something. Oh, there's an interesting story. There's always something. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know how many people on this call can relate to, you know, trying to get your life together and then there's always something. Yeah, it's either work or family or relation. There is something that is just like such a big struggle. Okay. So struggle struggle through life is, is something we're typically taught by our parents. How were how were your parents' lives? Um difficult. Yeah. So you've picked up on their struggle and you're cre recreating it in your life. Mm. So, and there's, there's a little bit more to it. What, what would happen if you didn't have to struggle, but your parents were still struggling? Um, I think they would think that I have it easy and that I'm not doing enough. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons you're creating struggle in your life. So you have to be willing to live in ease and live in success and abundance, even if your parents don't like that. Even if your parents say that's not the right way to live, you shouldn't have life so easy. We've had to work all our lives. We've had to struggle. Who are you to just take, take life in stride and have everything come to you? So this is a tough one. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you cannot you cannot have ease in your life if your parents don't approve of it? Yeah. <coughs> I think they might also think that then I owe them everything. Wow. Okay. Because that was like easy. they did everything to make yep. my life better. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you cannot create success and a lot of money because you'll just have to give it all to your parents? Ow. Yeah. Oof, there's resistance. I'm happy to give it to my parents. I'm just not happy to be feeling like I owe everything to them. But here's the thing. They can try to throw that on you, but for you to feel that you owe it to them, that's a decision on your part. Mm. Right? So this is the thing of, of staying firm in what you believe despite what everyone else tries to tell you is how you should think and what you should believe. Can I say it again? You have to stay firm in what you believe despite what everyone else thinks you should think and you should believe. Mm. Okay. So are you uh, oof, are you willing to create ease and success in your life despite how everyone else around you reacts? Yes. <coughs> Whew. Okay, and this is this is going to be something to watch out for because you can shift into this new belief and start functioning that way. But when people start to react, when you see the reactions, you may want to undo this belief so that they'll stop reacting. And this is what happens with um, some people that, that we get the shifts going. In order to make everyone else comfortable, they undo the work we did. But you have to let them be uncomfortable for as it lo for long as it takes for them to get used to who you've become instead of who you've been functioning as up till now. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Do you, yeah. 
do I? Do you think that um, it is related to this that recently my boss been pointing out in a very bullying kind of way that I'm just, you know, not present and not open and not kind of hard to read and closed off. But I feel like maybe this is how I'm protecting myself from reactions of other people in general. So this is, sort of, this is sort of something else that's going on in your life. Um, who are you trying to protect yourself from? How? Um, people. Okay. Feels like it's a little more specific than that. So first, first people that pop into your head, who do you need to protect yourself from? Well, right now at work, my immediate boss. Okay, but that's still not it. So take it at, forget the context of work and just see what, what pops into your head. Who do you need to protect yourself from? I'm not sure. Just like anyone who kind of tries to tell me what to do always being critical. Okay. So what's wrong with people being critical of you? Um, I feel very bad and very guilty. Okay. So here's, here's what the space you want to get into is if people are critical of you, you have to look at what they're being critical of and see if what they're saying is justified. And if it's not, then all they're doing is judging you and you can ignore it. But if, what, if the criticism they're giving is gonna help you to shift and be a better person anyway, then you wanna go with it. But if you're just pushing away all criticism, then you're shutting yourself off from everyone. Mm. All right, now most of what's gonna come in is judgment and you can ignore most of it, but there's gonna be some actual criticisms that are gonna help you and you wanna be open enough to allow that in. And right now you're closing yourself off to everything. So this, the space you want to be in is open yourself up to everything. And then as everything comes in, say, oh, I'll take this, throw away this, throw away this, take this, throw away this, throw away this, throw away this. I find it very hard to be open with people and just like energetically present with people because I take on all the criticism. Like I genuinely start to believe that something's wrong with me. Uh, this is this is why I'm saying it's hold on here. Um, why do you feel you have to take on all the criticism? Because um, I think that maybe they do know better because they have a more objective view and opinion and yeah, see, no one has an objective view. Everyone's got a tainted view and everyone's viewing the world through their lenses. So don't think anyone has an objective view. Mm. Right. So, and here's the thing, when people are offering you words of wisdom, advice, and criticism, you have to look at who's offering the advice. So if someone's giving you advice on how to be successful and they're not, you probably don't want to take their advice. Yeah. Right. So yeah. when the criticism comes in, look at the person that's giving you the criticism and say, do I even really need to take any of this information in? Because there's, I know some people that they're trying to create a, a better life, uh, build a business, and they're getting told by people that are struggling to get by every day, no, don't build your own business. That's dangerous. That's, you know, you, you need to just find a full-time job and work for someone, even if it's minimum wage, go work for someone and don't try to, to do that. And they're just echoing out their own fears of what's going on in their life. And they're in a minimum wage job and they're struggling and they're just living paycheck to paycheck. Mm. So you have to go with what's pulling you. And, you know, and this is the thing, when the criticisms come in, don't be closed off, but then just don't take everything on. How do you do that? So when people judge me, I just like, I listen to the judgment and I say, thank you. And then that's it. So, yes. you know, I'll get some judgment and go, wow, Shiraz, you're, you're a great uh, energy worker. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And then I, people say, wow, Shiraz, you absolutely suck. And what you do doesn't do anything at all. I'm like, oh, thank you. And 
you know, the, the judgments just sort of come in and I'm just like, okay, that's, I acknowledge that what's coming in is coming in from their world. Mm. And it's not really about me. Now, when I look at what's going on in their world, I might find some nuggets of information that, that could be useful to me and then I'll take that. But other than that, every, everyone that you're interacting with is giving you a glimpse of their world, their beliefs, their feelings, their fears. So when you realize that you, you don't take anything on, you're just like, wow, thank you for showing me your world. Right. That makes sense. Okay. So start applying it from there as you move forward. And this allows you to be a lot more open to people. Because mm. right now you're, you're fighting not to get the judgments. But if you get to a place where you're just sort of acknowledging, oh, that's a judgment, that's nice. Mm. You can be open to, to, to acknowledging it and you don't have to take it on. So are you willing to destroy the belief that if you are exposed to a judgment or a criticism, you have to take it on? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> okay how's that feel um lighter good and calmer all right thank you so much you're welcome hey this is shiraz thanks for watching this video if you liked it please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.